Hello and welcome to this video playing. I am UY's cutie something. <laughs> Probably. Come on, I need to get rid of this window. That's irritating. UY's cutie. Okay. Don't didn't know if I've played him before. I, I did, yeah, actually two times. Uh, one win, one loss. Okay. Yeah, this this is a Interesting line. Black basically tries to play like a normal wow. Did I blunder something? <laughs> um, it's a bit unusual to take there. Just give up the bishop pair. What is that for? What for? It's an I am, right? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty uncommon yeah, to, to take to take this. Three. I'm actually feel tempted to play b5 here yeah, to make the knight look strange. Knight a5 and c5. might take and play queen to d6 or something like that. I don't know if this is a good idea, but yeah, but I still want to do this just to be be ready. To, 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 to be active. Queen, uh, queen to d6 doesn't do much. So go back here. Rook d1, bishop e6 is uh, very okay for black. I think at least. Queen to c7 or one, yeah. So what do I what do I want to do here in this position? Bishop to f8 for c4 probably. He will reroute this anyway. Mm. Yeah, I think this is this is on no matter what. I play bishop to f8 anyway. Kind of somewhat strange here. We seem to think along completely different lines here. This was my these were my next moves anyway. So kind of weird that you put it on c5. So it's totally standard, yeah. Black's idea here, totally standard. So I wondered that he gave it gave it to me that that easily. Try to activate this wire g5. Maybe it's not really working. Yeah, got it. Got it there. Hmm. 
Yeah, my rook is active, but it's not really doing all that much. Maybe I have to have to trade queens and then rook a3 at the end yeah, to attack his c3 pawn. Yeah, rook a3. I mean, I totally control the d file. He cannot enter there. And how does he cover it? So, um, is the straightforward way working? Knight e7, c8, b6, a4, take it. Probably not, as the king will, will come. Yeah, king will king will um, help out. Put it on c8 to d6. Oh, this is what I want to do. F4. Hmm. Check. Does he enter on the H file or something? Time warning. Still cannot do much here. The way he's playing it, he might lose it. Mm, he might lose it. I should have played f3, actually. <sighs> no. Maybe I'm, I'm still in time. Come on, come on. This is still good. Probably if I play it right, I don't know, Check. this move is a bit crazy, maybe. And it's 12 seconds. And this position, that was so extremely awful for white that maybe this still works. I have 12 seconds though. The F pawn, I mean, he plays without this bishop there. wriggled himself out of it at least time time wise check yeah, okay 
he wins on time. Ah, what a shame. Black forfeits on time. He was so busted. <laughs> he was so busted. Some some really strange maneuvers there. Yeah, I mean, black is always better, but it's difficult to, to win. Check. And uh, here, probably this is objectively a draw. I mean, there was some 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 ideas here back and forth. I still wanted to try to win, and also I have only have 30 seconds, so I have to had to try things. And this was a funky idea. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, his pieces are so awkward that this is probably working. At least the engine uh, approves. I mean, this this even is an interesting move, but it just fell far falls short. <laughs> just narrowly check so here i'm probably winning somehow king to f6 rook a6 rook a5 my computer gives it a draw hmm. okay here this was a crap shoot yeah with with the time Objectively, black black wins there at the end. Because he also he knew that he was winning on time, so there was no need for him to do anything. The thing that interests me actually is, uh, do I have a win somewhere here? Because uh, here, um, by White's position, is in total disarray. I really wonder if there is something uh, to to punish what he did. Yeah, knight to a4, but he's he's getting he's probably getting to d2 in time. The engine wants to put it on f4. The knight. Yeah, it's a super one-sided position, but not sure if you you can win. Actually, with hindsight, I wonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bishop g5, <laughs> f5, and white is completely busted. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. With the with the double pawns, the pawn structure became too rigid. Yeah. 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 This is pretty awful. This is pretty awful. G3 by the computer. Yeah, the thing is, I mean, I'm probably just advancing here, like f4. Bishop f6, it wants to play first. I don't know if this is essential. Yeah, now this, is, this is a lot stronger here. I can I have all kinds of ideas now. Bishop comes over here and so on. This is a lot better. Yeah? Bishop Bishop G five looked kind of kind of logical. It's like the bishop doesn't look very active and and um, yeah. Now yeah, that's that's a strategic mistake. I mean, it gives up a huge chunk of the advantage. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah, never give up your bishop pair. Uh, it's more about the pawn structure, but it's also about the bishop pair. The bishop is getting strong here. And I don't want to trade because he's got less space. Yeah, bishop g5 is a strategic mistake. A very substantial one, yeah, in comparison to what black has here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that was an instructive moment there, really. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching.